Hi students, today we're going to learn how to draw perpendicular lines and the stuff that you need to start drawing would be two rulers, one ruler, a normal ruler and the second ruler, a set square, okay? I know the name is weird, a set square is this triangular ruler that you need, okay? I will show you if, uh, I will show you how to draw a perpendicular line if you do not have this ruler, it is also fine to use two normal rulers. Yes, but first let me show you with this set square ruler. Okay, so perpendicular lines. If they have already given you a line and they ask you to draw a line that is perpendicular to the line that they gave you, then all you need is to get your set square and put it on AB. Okay, now it's very important that you put it exactly. Okay, if your, if your ruler is a bit slanted, it will not work. We need that. We need a 90 degrees there, yes? Perpendicular lines are lines that meet at 90 degrees. Okay, so once I put my ruler straight on AB, I can draw a perpendicular line because it hits at 90 degrees. Now, how many perpendicular lines are there? There are so many perpendicular lines. Look, anywhere that I put my set square, there is another perpendicular line another perpendicular line there are so many perpendicular lines okay so for example if i'm talking about this one i'm going to name it x y okay and how do we write it down we're going to write a b is perpendicular okay note the symbol to x y a b is a line this line and x y is a line this line so this pair which is two of them they always come in twos, yeah? These two lines are perpendicular. They come in pairs. You cannot say that AB is perpendicular. You need to always tell me AB is perpendicular to another line, which is XY. Now, what happens if nothing is given and they ask you to draw two perpendicular lines? Now, we always have to start with a line. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a perpendicular line. Yes. And for those of you who have the set square, you can just put it there on the line, yeah, and draw a perpendicular line. Okay, for those of you who do not have a set square, here's how you are going to do it with two rulers. You put one ruler on the line that you have and use your second ruler and make sure it is sitting flat on the first ruler. If you see here, then you'll be able to slide it Yes, and it is a 90 degrees also. Now, some rulers have a curve like this. Okay, I advise you not to use this side, this one. I'm going to use this side of the ruler. Okay, I'm going to draw there. And if you take it away, you will see that this is also a 90 degrees. So you can also do it with a normal ruler, but you just have to make sure your ruler is not slanted. Okay, it needs to be exactly straight on the ruler that you put on the first line and these are perpendicular lines let me name this if this first line that I drew is PQ and this line is JK then I can write it doesn't matter if you say JK or KJ it's the same line so I'm gonna try KJ is perpendicular to PQ and that's how you draw perpendicular lines remember Perpendicular lines meet at right angles.